Hi, my name is Robert Van Wally, and I was inspired by Matt Parker's stand-up maths to find my own approximation for the perimeter of an ellipse. Uh, really appreciate Matt and the other uh, math channels. They keep my mind agile. Um, he worked out an equation that I, I think it was uh, pi times 6 times the semi-major axis divided by 5 plus 3 times the, sem the minor axis over 4 gives you roughly the circumference of an ellipse. And he's got a great video all about it. I'll link to the description below. Watching that video and thinking about it later, I, I thought maybe I could do better. Here's what I realized. I know the equation for a circle is 2 pi r. And I thought about looking at that circle from straight overhead, 90 degrees above, it looks like a circle. But as I move down and get to zero degrees, now it's a line. So at, at 90 degrees, we have 2 pi r, but at zero degrees, this perimeter is 4r. So now I know the beginning state equation and the end state equation. And all I have to do is figure out how to write a single equation that has both of those terms in it where they drop away depending on which part of the, of the sequence I'm in. So easy enough, right? Take 2 pi r, add 4r, and subtract 4r. So this is obviously the equation for a circle. Now I have to figure out how to get this 2 pi r and this 4r term, this negative 4r term, to go away when I'm looking at a zero degree circ uh, circle. Guess what? The sine of that angle does exactly that. So if instead of this as my formula, I write 2 pi r times sine theta plus 4r minus 4r times sine theta. Now, when I'm at 90 degrees, sine theta is 1. So I have 2 pi r times 1 plus 4r minus 4r. So I still have my formula for the circle. But as I get down to 0 degrees, sine of 0 is 0. 2 pi r goes away. 4 sine 0 is 0. I get my 4r. And when I graph that out from, pot from 4 to 2 pi over 0 to 90 degrees, I get a curve that reaches really close to the actual curve that uh, the perimeter of an ellipse would have. So if you do the, the calculus version of the perimeter of an ellipse, its curve looks like that. And that's, that's, an, that's the actual, like, real perimeter of the ellipse if you use calculus to determine it. So I was looking at this and wondering, how do I bring this part of the graph closer to uh, being accurate? And what I know is I can bring 1 to any power and I will get 1. And I can bring 0 to any power and I will get 1. 
And after a little bit of experimentation, I discovered that I could bring this trigonometric term to the power of e over 2. I just I started trying different uh, different constants um, like the square root of 2 which did some things but e over 2 gives an approximation that is almost exactly the uh, correct curve on this chart you can see I've also included Matt's uh, approximation in yellow and uh, my approximation is in blue and the actual perimeters are in red so I've had a great time thinking about this and coming up with a, uh, a solution that that intuitively makes sense to me as as I look at as I look at a circle what is changing as it goes from 90 degrees to zero degrees and uh, I've got this relatively straightforward equation out of it. Matt thank you so much for all the work you do thanks for helping to keep this brain agile and uh, I'm looking forward to your next video